What's up guys? Welcome to Amateur Prepper. Today we're going to be programming the 50V2 from BTEC. Uh, in the unboxing video I stated that I had already had a cable. Thought it was kind of cool that I already had one. However, uh, the drivers for it and it just was not the right chipset. So uh, I went over to BTEC and PC04 programming cable for the 50V2 as well as the 25-2 and, and other radios. Uh, you can catch that cable up on BTEC website. And then I'm using something called Chirp. Chirp software is a radio programming software that will allow you to choose what kind of uh, radios. It allow you to choose what kind of radios to program. Uh, they have a legacy version as well as the next version. Next version is going to give you more availability as far as radios. So that's what I'll be using today. Uh, you're going to see a quick weird screen there. But uh, this is the next version here. So I plug the program cable into the USB port on the computer and the other end to uh, this port right here. Just to show you. Just a little dongle there. And then in the here, I'm going to go into radio. Download from radio. It's going to pop up some options here, USB serial port COM6, which I know is already the correct port. I got BTEC, and then, of course, GMRS 50V2, which is the model number. You hit OK. When you see cloning from radio in the green status bar, that's going to uh, let you know that it's transferring everything from the radio into the Chirp software. And the Chirp software is where you're going to add, delete, or make any changes to existing channels already in. Now, the BTEC B2 does come with the standard GMRS channels as well as the uh, weather channels, and they will auto populate. However, I've already modified and made my program exactly how I want it, so you'll see that version here. You also state that the radio does change and turns off and turns back on once the uh, uploaded or downloaded from the radio. Here you'll see that I've already made my changes to configurations. And this is not a video on Chirp. This is just how to program the actual BTEC radio. So once you make all your changes and everything is in the correct order that you want it to be, all you have to do is go back up to radio, upload to radio. We're still on COM port 6, BTEC, GMRS 50V2, and hit OK. Once again, you see cloning the radio and the green status bar. Everything's working as it should. If you do encounter an error, you may have to change some configurations or uh, make sure that you have all the USB drivers that you need. So we're going to wait just a few seconds here. Let it uh, continue to clone. I want you to take a look down here on the radio itself. You'll see it shut off and automatically boot back up once the uh, upload is complete. And as you see here, we have the actual channel name and everything in there. I'm sorry, my hand was probably in the way. So right there with the green light. And I can change it to whatever station that I want to. Now my radio is programmed and I'm ready to go. I do not have an antenna on it. So I will not be able to uh, transmit out. And guys, again, that is it. All you need to program your 50V2 by BTEC. 